Welcome viewers. In this video, we'll demonstrate different uh, techniques of dimensioning in engineering drawings. So here, first of all, we'll start with the simplest, that is horizontal, vertical or aligned kind of dimensioning. So when we have to dimension a drawing, what we do, we'll use the dim, the dim command. So in the dim command, if suppose we want to dimension something in the vertical direction so we can type ver and press enter so from here to here let us say this is the dimension which i want so you see that i can uh, read the value of the uh, dimension so it is one autocad unit so here uh, i can uh, say if this is the location I want. I'll click at this location. Then it will ask uh, enter the dimension text. I know my scale is 100 uh, mm is equal to 1 AutoCAD unit. So I can uh, type here separately 100. So I invariably in engineering graphics drawings, so we will be having dimensions in millimeters. So 100 means it is millimeter. So we can type here and you can see. 100 mm uh, dimension it is dimensioned as 100 mm so this was vertical so another uh, one which i can show is under the dimension mode you can see the command prompt is still in dimension mode so in the dimension mode itself i type hor horizontal press enter then i can uh, either take uh, this dimension you can see it is uh, uh, in the same manner I can say so the, the amount is 1.5 AutoCAD unit and I can say it is 150 mm so this way I can dimension like this also so this is a horizontal if the same thing I want to uh, put up in the aligned manner so for example uh, if I want a dimension of a line which is neither horizontal nor vertical some incline in that case for example this is the line of that type from here to so first of all I will uh, go into the align method and press enter then it is asking me the first extension line origin so that is here and now the second extension line origin is uh, here and it is uh, giving me the dimension 1.25 AutoCAD units so this is the location I can say 125 mm so this is the aligned method of dimensioning so dimensioning helps me to determine what is the dimension and at the same time it helps me to label the dimension so while reading I can read something so I will again demonstrate the aligned method align method let us say somewhere here if uh, I take this with without the snap on so let us say from here to here I will take so just uh, to demonstrate a concept I want to say you see the dimension is 1.5252 it was approximate uh, the diameter so if uh, this way I want to say and if suppose by some other method of dimensioning I know it is one the circle is of 150 mm in that case I can overrule this dimension which is red as 1.5252 as 150 mm so this kind of provision is also there so dimensioning is basically to indicate the dimensions on the drawings and it gives us liberty in specifying the dimensions as I have just demonstrated so another way of dimensioning under the dimension command if I want to specify the radius of an arc or a circle so I will type radius RAD and uh, then it is it will ask me to pick an arc or a circle so I can pick this circle and uh, it has given me clearly what is the dimension it is 0.75 uh, AutoCAD units or 75 mm is the radius so enter the dimension text so let us say r 75 i can say 
and press enter it is then asking me where to locate so i can locate it here so r equal to centimeter that way also i can specify the dimension another way is diameter the diameter of a circle or an arc only can be specified let us say this is the one and here this diameter is 1.5 i can say dia 150 and press enter so that way also i can specify the dimension dia 150 or phi 150 and uh, so these are major modes of dimensioning another is angular dimension angular i in under the dimension command itself all these sub commands are working so a n g is angular if i want to specify the angle somewhere it is it will ask me the selection of the line or circle so i i'll select two lines here and see the angle is coming up here so it is 34 so i can measure the angle i can specify the angle but it doesn't uh, always uh, say that uh, whatever i measure that only is to be specified i can specify a different angle also so 34 so dimension text is 34 so then i can put it up like this so this way the angular dimension can be also shown so these are the major uh, modes of dimensioning another one is uh, using the baseline method so in the baseline method what i can do is uh, for example horizontal dimension i want so here uh, snap on from here to here let us say this is the location here i want 125 it was 120 1.25 autocad units i can specify like this and then i can say baseline so with the same baseline i can pick up another one another dimension like this so 225 i can specify like this also another baseline if i want with the same baseline if i want i can specify like this 300 okay for dimensioning using the ordinate mode what we do again we go into the uh, dim mode by typing the dim and we type the ordinate so here specify the location so let us say we first get it uh, at the uh, version of the drawing so here the uh, x dimension is uh, this much so let us take it and uh, it is 2.5 from the origin of the AutoCAD uh, coordinate system so again on the other side also the the on the y-axis it is at a distance of uh, four AutoCAD units from the origin of the AutoCAD coordinate system. Now uh, we want to specify the center of this circle. So it's ordinate we want to specify. So we type ordinate again. So we specify the center of the circle. And uh, here you note the uh, dimension is 4.5 that means from the origin it is uh, 0.5 more so which is 50 or uh, in millimeter form so we can say all the dimensions if we want to specify from the origin uh, of the job rather than from the origin of the AutoCAD system we can say 50 this way we can specify the location similar way coordinate from for the other circle so it is 5.25 uh, that means uh, uh, 125 mm more we have uh, and uh, that is how we can specify its ordinate uh, another uh, 
you can say ordinate starting with this point so you can see on the x side it is uh, 3 and uh, again it is equivalent to 50 mm and uh, ordinate of uh, this center is here and let us say so we want to locate it somewhere here this is the length of the uh, leader line so 4 it is 1.5 autocad units more that means uh, the ordinate is 150 1.5 autocad units more than the origin so it is 150 so that is how we can locate so this way and we can come out of the dimension command we can uh, remove the one which is not needed so this way the ordinate dimensioning mode can be used thank you